welcome back to another Feature Friday. Oak Harbor is rich in its history of grist mills and elevators. Although the term grist mill can refer to any mill which grinds grain, the term was used historically for any local mill where farmers brought in their own grain and got back ground meal or flour in exchange. A fun fact, the first ever built grist mill was in Jamestown, Virginia in 1621. It is unknown when the first grist mill was established in Oak Harbor. Elmore's grist mill started operations in 1830. So early Oak Harbor settlers went to Elmore to have their grain processed. Flour or feed sacks were made from cloth until the onset of World War II, where cotton was rationed to make uniform for soldiers. From then on, flour was packaged in paper bags, and it's been that way ever since. The Thewacker Grain Elevator and Flour Mill was built in 1886, then sold to the Ottawa County Co-op in 1932. The Ottawa County Co-op was formed by a stock company of farmers in roughly 1903, and were the first farmer co-op in the state of Ohio. In 1972, the elevator was bought by Lucky Farmers, which was formed in 1919. The McGee Papenbach Lipstraw Elevator was built in 1902, then sold to the Oak Harbor Grain and Hay Company in 1910. In 1913, it advertised the wholesale of grain, hay, seed, and retail flour, among other things. In 1914, the elevator was sold to the Oak Harbor Co-op, then in 1977, the co-op merged with Lucky Farmers. So our Oak Harbor is very rich in its history of grist mills and elevators. So come on down to the local history and museum center to learn more about the history. The museum is located here at the library and is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we have a local historian on site on Thursday. If there is anything you would like to donate to the museum, please contact the library. And next Friday, check back for another Feature Friday.